Yo, Elliot. Not sure if you remember, but I was telling you about this girl I thought would make a great wife. I met with her mom, and her mom liked me, but didn't think we were ready to get married. I personally think it's because her mom realized the type of guy I was in terms of wanting to struggle and build an empire. I told her multiple times that I was financially not only stable, but strong and can take care of her daughter. She kept referring to me getting a college degree <laughs> and just having a job and living a stable life. I think she just wanted her daughter to have real responsibility. I think she don't, she didn't want her daughter to have real responsibility. What's interesting is also that when me and the girl were talking every day, she was ready to play whatever role I needed her to and was completely in awe of me. Once we stopped talking and her mom got in the picture, the girl texted me, she didn't think we was ready and how I wasn't interested in her career and what she wanted to do. I wanna know your thoughts on what you think about this switch in the girl's mindset as well as her mother's interjecting. I decided I would get super focused on my own growth again and over the, uh, as I'm only 25, still like your thoughts on let, uh, letting, letting her go if it's the right thing to do. Uh, so my first instinct is this, man. And then, so I know you're Muslim too. So I, I hate to say this, but kind of expect more from Muslim men. And I'm talking about her father. I'm talking about why is her mom so meddling and you haven't mentioned her father once? Because I know that that Western secular modernism is creeping east, and so I don't know, you know, where you guys live, but for the most part, the the the, the plan is to get Muslims to be feminists too, and so beware. It's, and from the sound of this conversation, she don't sound much different, and her family don't sound much different than your average American Jap. So, <laughs> good luck. And then again, once again, her mom is so her mom is so involved that I think she's compensating for the fact that her husband is not. My daughters haven't started bringing boys around yet, but it's coming. I know. But everybody already knows in my home that daddy's at the front door me and my wife she's happy she don't want to do that she don't want to be the one dad you got to meet my dad right and i'm an intimidating guy so you you had better be able to handle that you talking to this girl's mom moms are weak no matter how strong they try to act they're weak they're not protectors, they're nurturers. She's doing this because she wants to see her baby happy. That's not what a father does. He don't, it, I'm less interested in you being happy <laughs> and more interested in you being holy and safe. Is this man protecting you and leading you in the right way? You might not be happy with the way he deals with you at some point, but does he have your best interest in mind? That's what I want to know about the men that my daughters bring around. Not is she going to be happy? Way too much going on here for my comfort. My opinion is move on. Move on. I don't think it's worth it because... If you do, and you know, here's the thing, bro. I believe you, I, I imagine, I believe that you're a righteous man. You want to do the right thing. That you have the best interest in mind. I know you enough to say, I'll give this, I'll give you a thumbs up in that regard. Can't say that for everybody. I don't know everybody. That being said, your intentions and efforts will be derailed by this woman who you now have to deal with for the rest of your life. Her mother. Her mother. Her mother's always going to be in her ear. And her mother, listen, man. I mean, I don't know how it is in your culture, 
but the right way for marriage to work is the father of the girl gives her over to the authority of her husband and then and then that's it that's why in the bible it says if you notice during the days of noah jesus says that they were marrying and given in marriage that's a strange thing to say he, because Jesus wasn't a feminist, <laughs> he didn't say, oh, they were all marrying. No, women don't marry. They're given in marriage. Men marry. Women are given in marriage. What does that mean? That means that she's under the authority of her father until he passes that authority over to her husband, his son-in-law. But none of that exists today. She turned 18, and then she's off to the whorehouse at the university. I, you're 18 now. This is, what the, this is what the world tells you. She's 18 now. There's nothing I can do. That is the biggest crock of BS that has ever faced our culture. That there's nothing you can do about the state of sanctity and chastity and virtue of your daughters. It ain't easy, might not be easy, but you don't wash your hands. You don't play dumb or weak, but that's what this world does. So if you got the same kind of mindset as me, and that's the kind of family that you want to raise, and you're dealing with a woman that's coming from this, I would just be a little cautious, that's all. Just a little cautious, that's all. I'll tell you what to do. Just beware, <laughs> because she sounds like the kind of woman, kind of mother that's going to be meddling in stuff that have nothing to do with her. But I understand. I understand because men are weak. I get it. I get it why parents would do that or a mother because fathers are absent. Our fathers don't do anything. But I understand why a mother would do that because men are weak. And so she's worried that you are a weak man. She sees what happens when women get with weak men. So she doing what her father's supposed to do, but the father, she, her father's probably a weak man and she's probably trying to help her avoid her fate, trying to help her daughter avoid her fate. Weak men, weak men. So, you know, when it boils down to it, a lot of times it sounds like these conversations are against women, but they're not. Because women are the byproduct. What women are doing are just a byproduct of what weak men have allowed.